Hello, this is Robert with Self Reliance Mindset. Uh, hey, I'm going to do a quick video. I want to kind of apologize. Um, I shipped a video out on YouTube last night um, on our tomato buckets here. And uh, I th actually thought I had done more footage of how to make them. And the video ended up being just one of uh, installing one of these up. So what I was going to do real quick here is explain how we started making these things anyway. We took some buckets from, as you can see, tractor supply. Um, in the bottom of the buckets, I took a quarter inch drill bit and I drilled four holes in the bottom of the bucket. And then up the side of the bucket, just about an inch up from the bottom lip, I drilled four holes, one at each cardinal direction, one north, south, east, west, or top, bottom, left, or right, however you want to do that. And uh, then the buckets are buried in four inches. Um, pebbles put in there the advantage of these bucket systems is we're getting four plants per basket um, and then when we water these in there um, the water is going directly under the bucket or at the base of the plant the plant was uh, was planted right at the where the where the water hole is out so it's getting the water right at the root ball of the plant Another thing, the advantage of these buckets is you can fill them with compost tea, and that's, or even compost. We're thinking about throwing some, maybe some uh, rabbit manure in there, and uh, so we can get some benefits from that. Um, another thing that's been going on here is uh, the irrigation systems have been going up. I don't know how much battery I got left here, uh, but uh, I got a main line coming down that's that green one right there. Um, these are a system I come up with quite a few years ago, and uh, you can buy these at Walmart, Tractor Supply, get them off of Amazon or whatever, um, made by Orbit. Um, when you buy this control panel, it only comes with, it comes with four ports on it, um, and then this timer, and then it only comes with two solenoids. So over time, I have gotten more of these solenoids. Um, I think over time I've bought three of these kits. I have this one set up with four solenoids. Uh, these control panels will take up four solenoids. And you can set this up to water once, twice a day. Uh, you can rain delay it. You can How long it waters, when it kicks on. It's got its own thing. We set this up and uh, these things um, sit there and water. They take turns watering one at a time. And they go around, we got them twice a day for so many hours a day each. Uh, and that does our four main quadrants. Um, I'll do an update video on plants later. Um, like I said, my battery's about shot here. And then, but I am going to come up here, walk you up here to the trellis. Um, something new to me this year. Um, somebody gave me a big roll of industrial drip hose. So there's no fittings nothing like that um, it's just this and I had to come up with fittings and so I have drip irrigation one row on each one of the straw bales and then through my supplies that I've had I come up with a, uh, a four-way splitter I do not have this on at this second right here but I come up with a four-way splitter so I got four branches and then I have my main line coming up. And then I go over here. And I do not have the timer set up on this yet. I have two solenoids here that I have to set up. Right now I have these just on. Uh, there's no solenoid on these. And I can control these out or two. Right now I have a sprinkler going over there at the apple trees, strawberries, and stuff like that. But I will put these also where these kick on at time intervals for so long. And uh, right now, that's as far as I've gotten with irrigation. So uh, uh, hopefully that kind of filled in some gaps. Uh, sorry about shortness of videos. Uh, it's been crazy around here. Stuff's been coming up. Um, like I said, I'll do another video later on an update. And I got a project this weekend I want to do with the chickens. So I'm going to do that project and uh, also update on the chickens. Also, uh, we got some broilers that are really close to about uh to be put in the freezer so um you'll be guys be surprised there so we'll catch you later you have a good day